Hi everybody! So I did a couple of videos uh, yesterday and I want to look into something that I've been channeling. So this is probably for my third party group I'm guessing. Either this could be your ex or it could be your person's ex. You know, take it as it resonates. Either you or your person is, is dealing with this right now. But the message I got very strongly was that someone's going to try to use the kids against you on Halloween because they have no other way to get in. Like, you've blocked this person out. This person's a sociopath. They're a narcissist. You shut them out. So they're going to try to guilt trip you on Halloween is what I'm feeling. Now, please, I do not want any kids to miss out on Halloween because of this video. So please only, please, if you, if, you know, listen to this whole video and make sure it resonates 100% before you act. Because if you have, like, a healthy relationship with your, you know, baby daddy, baby mama, then this isn't for you. This would be like if your ex-wife, ex-husband, or the, you know, the mother or father of your children is, you know, toxic, manipulative, you've cut them out recently, you've freed yourself from them, you know, you've blocked them, you're, you're doing the right thing, so keep moving on, keep moving away from that person. But I'm feeling like this is someone that's very frustrated and they're very toxic, so they're plotting on using the kids against you on all in the Halloween that was the message I got. They're going to, um, they're going to try to tell you that, they're going to try to tell you that they're busy working or that they're sick or something came up and they're going to guilt trip you. They're going to be like, oh, little Timmy isn't going to be able to, to go trick or treating unless you come pick them up. And it's a trap. This person might be planning on having you beaten up. They might literally, this person's crazy. This person might literally be planning on having one of their guy friends or their girlfriends beat your ass. Like, this is a straight trap. And I'm sorry, like, it will absolutely... Like, even if your kid did have to miss Halloween, that would absolutely suck. But you know what? Like, your kid needs to be safe more than anything. You know what I mean? Like, that's more important than than Halloween. I hate to say it. But I'm, I'm not feeling... So if this is your story, I'm not feeling like the kid's actually going to miss Halloween. They just want you to think the kid's going to miss Halloween. It, like I said, it's a trap. Because you've, like... Whoever this is for, this is probably for quite a few different people. Especially, you know, if you've been following my third-party videos and you're in this energy group, then, you know, you know that you either you or your person has just dealt with someone that's psychotic, that's a sociopath, that's manipulative... That's, you know, their crocodile tears aren't working, their their cutesy little pout isn't working anymore, stamping their foot, trying to get their way. Um, it's not working. You know, the, poly, the fake apology is not working anymore, trying to gaslight you and manipulate you and threaten you, threaten to sabotage your reputation, threaten to sleep with your friends or do this or do that. It's just not working on you anymore. Because you realize that, you know, nothing is worth going back to this psycho for. There's not a damn thing in the world that's worth going back to this psycho for. And you, you recognize that now. Like, you know that. So you've blocked this person out. So maybe you'll block their number. You know, you've blocked them on social media. You're just like, or your person has. It's like someone here is just done with this other, with a psycho. Like, they're just done. They don't give a shit anymore. They, this person, this person, they're just done. Um... But this person is still trying to plot. So, like I said, like I've been saying in my third-party readings, you need to be strong. You need to stay strong because this person thrives on drama. It's like their oxygen. They just, they need drama. They need attention. And when they don't get drama, they get bored. So what, what this person's not telling you is that they're actually getting bored because you're not giving them drama. You're not giving them attention. You're not getting looped into their, their shit anymore. You're just, you're protecting yourself. You're blocking them. You know, they try to drag you into these long drawn out conversations and you're just like, okay, whatever. I don't care. Bye. Like, and they're getting bored. That's what they don't want you to know. They want you, they want to gaslight you into making you feel like they could do this for months and months, but it's not true. They're actually getting really bored and really frustrated and really close to just completely giving up. You know, it might not happen tomorrow, but I feel like if you keep staying strong, it's going to be sooner than you think that this person's going to give up. You know, it's a process though. You can't cave for anything. There is no circumstances in which you can cave, not even for a minute. Not under any circumstances. Otherwise, you're going to put yourself right back to square one. Okay? So you've got to protect yourself. You've got to keep moving forward. No matter what this person threatens to, to do. No matter what, you know, just, just keep moving forward. Protect yourself. Protect your passwords. Protect your home. Protect your car. 
protect yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, like protect yourself, definitely. But do not cave under any circumstances. This person is bored because they're not getting the drama and attention they seek. And eventually they're just going to find, they're, they're going to find someone else to get that drama from. They're going to find a new man or a new woman to, um, to gaslight and to, to drain of their energy, to, to do their succubus or incubus thing. You know, they're going to find someone else to do that on. They're going to, or they're just going to, they're, they're just, they're going to get bored. They're going to find, they're probably going to have bad karma and, and meet someone that's just as psychotic and just as screwed up as they are and be stuck with that person. You know, they're, they, they had a, a chance at true love, but I'm getting that, that chance is kind of fleeing away from them now. And they're actually going to end up with a karmic probably instead. Um, that's their bad karma. They're going to, someone's going to trap them the way that they tried to trap you. And there's not shit they can do about it. But, um, but I want to remind you guys of that because I know those of you dealing with this, you, you might feel hopeless sometimes, or maybe, um, if your person's dealing with this, like you're wondering what's going on in that third party situation, you know, and this is probably your energy group. If you're dealing with a karmic, that's particularly psychotic and, uh, just off the rails. But, um, but I just want to remind you guys that the karmic is giving up. It, it's a process, but you got to stay strong. You got to keep moving forward no matter how hard it is. Um, the karmic is getting bored. So they're, they're already starting to look for someone else that they can just drain and use and, um, feed off of. And, um, they're, they're probably going to, like I said, they're probably going to end up finding someone that's just as toxic as they are. And that's going to be their karma. But yeah, stay strong, keep going forward. Um, the karmic, you know, like, like we've talked about, the karmic is just pulling on anything that they can because there's nothing left for them to pull on. So they're, you know, like I said, nothing's working anymore. The fake apology is not working. The crocodile tears isn't working. The pout's not working. The, the, the anger isn't working. Like they've, they've played all, they've played every different side, every different role. The sociopath has tried all the different roles to get your attention and it's not working. So this person's going to resort to trying to use the kids against you. They're going to try to find your weak spot and use the kids and you need to be smarter than that. You know, because the kids are either better with this person or they're better with you, but they're, I'm getting that like you guys can't, there's, there's no meeting this person halfway. And it's also important that they know that they cannot use the kids against you because I feel like this person, as much of a sociopath as they are, they actually do care about their kids. That's the one thing that they do care about. They care about themselves and their kids and that's pretty much it. You know, they actually do, surprisingly, they actually do have a soft spot for their kids. I mean, I guess sociopaths, you know, they can care about a few people. It's, it's They don't care about very many people, but they can care about a few people. This person does love their kids. But um, if exploiting the kids against you works, they're going to keep doing it. Do you understand me? So they might be like, oh, little Timmy can't, you know, can't go out for Halloween unless you come pick him up because I have to work or I'm sick. Please, please just... I don't want him or her to miss Halloween. Just come come pick them up for Halloween. If that works on you and you cave and you go do that, guess what? They're going to keep using the kids against you because they're going to see that that worked. And they're frustrated. And like I said, they're getting bored and they're starting to look at other options because they're not getting the attention and drama they seek from you anymore. So they're trying to see what else is out there. And if you stay strong, they're going to move on sooner than you think. You know, you're at, you're at the final stages of this battle. So this is the, the time when it's more important than ever to stay assertive, stay strong, stay consistent with this energy with moving forward and, and cutting this person out and keeping them out of your life. But, um, but yeah, if they see that exploiting the kids works on you, they're going to keep doing it. And that's what you need to understand. They're going to try to pull on your heartstrings. They're going to try to play on your empathy. And if you go, you know, if you if you cave and you're like, oh my God, I can't have my kid miss Halloween and you go do that. Um, one, it's dangerous for you. Like I said, I think some of them are planning on having you, you beaten up. Like they're literally like, like your kid's not even going to be there. You're going to show up and your, your kid's out trick-or-treating with your parents or trick-or-treating with with your ex ex-husband or ex-wife's parents or something like that and you know you show up where they where they say to me and it's not your kid's not even there it's just it's your your fucking baby mama with a knife you know or your your baby daddy there with 
you know, his guy friend ready, ready to beat your ass or something. You know what I mean? It's just something, something toxic where it's like, they're trying to trap you. They're trying to get you somewhere where they can just corner you and just yell at you and just unleash all their drama. So it's really important that you do not see this person in the physically and under any circumstances. Do not let this person know where you live. Do not go see this person physically, not under any circumstances. I do not give a shit what they have. Do not. If you, if they have something, like if they have your pets or something, or if they have like something important of yours, like like money or like like your clothes, get a police standby. Get a police standby and make sure that the police stay with you until you've left the place and make sure this person's not following you after you leave. Because this person's a psycho. But please, I cannot stress enough, like, do not meet this person physically under any circumstances. It is a trap. For most of you, like I said, I'm feeling like the kids already have, like, like, they're good. Like, you're going to go there and your kid's not going to be there. It's, they're they're going to tell you that your kid needs, that, you know, your kid needs you to come pick them up for Halloween. You're going to show up. The kid's not going to be there. It's going to be, you're going to get cornered. And someone's going to get violent or they're going to scream at you in your ear. I just see someone going off on you like they have all. They're trying to be really sweet right now. They're trying to apologize and be really sweet and nice because they want to yell at you. They want to scream at you. They want to tear you down. And they're trying to get you in person so that they can do that to you. Because you're not letting that happen over the phone or over text or messenger or whatever anymore. Um, so they're trying to get you. They're trying to find a way to... Um, to do that in person. So you really need to be safe. You really need to be logical here. Please, 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 please. I cannot stress that enough. Um, under no circumstances can you see this person. Okay. But, um, but yeah, for this energy group, I feel like the kid, like the kid already has plans for Halloween. Like someone's mom or dad or someone like like someone's grand, like hit, hit the kid's grandparents or the children's grandparents or like a, like a mother, like a um, godmother, or godfather, or someone's already taken the kid trick or treating, so they're good. They're gonna, they're, they're. This sociopath made sure that their kid is gonna get to go trick or treat and have fun on Halloween. The sociopath is making sure of that, but this sociopath is gonna lie to you and be like, oh, like. Like, like you're going to, like, you're going to say something like, oh, why can't your mom take, take them trigger treating? And, and the sociopath is going to be like, oh, my mom's sick right now, so she can't do it. Little do you know, she's actually already talked to her mom and her mom is planning on taking the kid trigger treating. So the kid's already good. You know what I mean? But she's going to pretend like no one's available. Like, like, oh, everyone's sick or everyone's busy or, you know, everyone has to work or I have to work. So please come take, come take little Timmy trigger treating. It's like, please be smarter than that. Please be more logical than that. It is a trap. I promise you it's a trap. It is a trap. Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting that this person actually already... Yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling like this person already made plans for their kid for Halloween. Like the kid's going to like a friend's house or the kid's going to be with their grandparents or their, kid, their kid's going to be somewhere fun on Halloween already. But yeah, like I said, they're going to pretend like the kid's not and they're going to try to trap you and get you somewhere. Or they might not even be telling the kid this because they might want to get the kid to, to manipulate you too. Like they might try to upset the kid. So it's almost like this, like let's say it's, it could be male or female, but it's almost like this woman might um, have like called this kid's, called their, their son or daughter's friends or um, like their, their um, grandparents or something and said like, hey, can... Can, um, can my kid or my kids come, you know, be with you, be, be with you on Halloween. I have to work. Like, can they come, you know, hang out and have fun? And this person's already said, yes, this person's already said, yeah, I'm going to take the kids trick or treating. But this, this mother or father might not be telling the kid that they might be hiding that from them because they want the kid to be upset enough to like, they want the kid to guilt trip the other parent, basically. Does that make sense? So it's like the kid already has plans for Halloween, but the kid might not know that he or she has plans for Halloween. You feel me? Like something's already set in place where it's like someone's planning on taking this kid trick-or-treating. But this toxic mother or toxic father might be telling the kid like, oh, like, you know, I have to work. So like, you're not going to be able to go trick-or-treating unless your dad comes over or unless your mom comes over. And so the kid's getting upset. So they're going to try to have the kid guilt trip you. But you need to be smarter. 
You need to be smarter because at the last minute, this this parent is going to be like, oh, like surprise, you're going to your friend's house on Halloween or surprise, your gram your grandma or grandpa is taking you trick or treating. You know, like this kid's OK. There's there's already they're, they're going to have a fun Halloween. They're good. OK, for this energy group, again, only take this if this resonates to a T. If this is your energy group, you should know, you know, use your own pendulum and your own intuition to confirm as well, please. But um. But please be smart. I cannot, I get really bad vibes. Like I get like, this person wants to scream at you and they're not able to because you've blocked them and you're not like when they, if they call you, you keep the conversation short and you, or you hang up on them early. They want to, they want, they want so badly to just get you in a corner and just have you in person where they can just let loose on you. Um... And like I said, also for the kids' sake, it's really important. It's it's not just for your own safety. I mean, your own safety is priority here. Like, I mean, your safety is, is really important here. But it's also for your kids' sake as well because this toxic parent will keep exploiting the child if this works on you. Do you understand me? Like, if this works, if you cave and you go and you try to, you know, take the kid for Halloween, this toxic parent is going to realize that that works. So they're going to use that again on you. There, it, you're going to set yourself back up on, you know, square one where you're going to have to deal with this person for months instead of just a couple more weeks. You understand me? Like, this person's going to keep, this person's going to manipulate the kid. This person's going to upset the kid and use the kid. You know, it's like you might be having phone calls with your kid or something and this person's putting shit in your kid's head or putting, you know, like, oh, daddy doesn't love you anymore. Mommy doesn't love you anymore. Like that kind of thing. And the kid knows better. The kid, you have to just trust that the kid is going to see through that, that, you know, the kid is protected and karma is going to get this person. You know what I mean? Like you, you have to trust that what's meant to be will be, you know, don't worry about it too much. But, um, but if this person sees that that doesn't, that doesn't work on you, like that you, you know, if there's misunderstandings with your kid, you just simply clear it up, but you don't let them pull on your heartstrings. You don't get dragged into the drama. You just simply, you know, speak your piece and they can decide what they want to believe. Um, you know, that's when, that's when this toxic ex is going to stop exploiting the kid when it doesn't work on you. So that's why it's really important to stay distant, to keep staying distant, keep moving forward, keep doing you. Um, cause like I said, it's like, if you let, you know, they're going to keep using that against you. If it works on you, if this, if this trick they have up their sleeve for Halloween works on you, then, you know, come, come Thanksgiving, they're going to do it. Come Christmas, they're going to do it. Come, you know, oh, like, oh, I can't pick him up from school. Please come, come get him. You know, oh, like she got into a fight with her teacher. Please. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, she's so upset. You know what I mean? Like, it's just. They're going to keep, the, if they see that, the, if they see that exploiting the kid works on you, they're going to keep doing it. So they're going to, they're going to, you know, tell this kid lies. They're going to try to upset this kid so that this kid, so that your kid talks to you and upsets you. You know what I mean? So that, you know, they're, they're going to try to get the kid to play on your empathy and play on your emotions. And some of you, I hate to say it, but some of you, your own kid is gaslighting you. Some of you, this kid is actually, and this isn't for everybody, but for some of you, this kid is actually on your toxic ex's side and they're actually purposely gaslighting you along with your toxic ex. Like for some, your ex is talking to, to your kid and being like, hey, like when you talk to daddy tonight or when you talk to mommy tonight, like tell her how much you miss her, you know, tell them how much you miss them, tell them tell pretend like you broke pretend like you hurt your leg today in a soccer game you know just to you know you know what I mean like they're 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 tr they're telling the kid to lie and the kid's lying to you for some not for all of you but for a few of you the kids your kid's straight up lying to you because they're on the toxic ex's side and they're actually for some this kid is toxic I don't know I don't know how else to say it for some this kid has the same toxic ass energy as your ex does you know for some, it's like you're wondering why you felt distant. It's like, well, for some, this I hate to say it, you know, because I mean, I, I just it's sad because it's a kid, but for some, this you know, kids can be toxic. Honestly, like I've known some kids that are, I hate, I don't know, I don't know how. That's just the energy I get. Not for everybody, for but for a few of you. Not for everyone, but for a few of you. 
For others, I just feel like the kid is going to have to see the truth on their own as they get older. It's not going to be something that you're going to be able to, like, you can speak your truth to them, but they're, they're, they're going to, they're going to see it as they get older. They're going to realize it. You know what I mean? They're going to see the truth on their own as they get older. But like I said, it's really important, not just for you, but for the kid's sake too, because like I said, they're going to, if exploiting you works, if, if the Halloween trick works then you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, the other days, they're going to keep doing it. They're going to keep using the kid against you. So you need to let it, you need to make sure that they know it's not working. And there's a middle ground. Like, don't, like, let's say that you have this talk with your kid. Just be like, you know what, like, like, speak your truth, but be like, you know what, it's up to you to choose what you want to believe. I told you my side of it. I told you my truth, but you know, um, I love you unconditionally. It's it's up to you, you know, whose side you want to take. It's up to you to, you know, believe what you, you know, you know what I mean? Like, just kind of find that middle ground, you know? Um, speak your truth. You can speak your truth to your kid. But don't let, don't let this toxic ex, like, pull on your heartstrings, like, like, guilt trip. They're just, they're trying to guilt trip you through the kid is what I'm getting. And for some, the kid is in on it. The kid, the kid or the children or the, or the, you know, plural or singular, that there are some of the, for some, they're in on it. For some, maybe the older ones in on it and the younger ones aren't or vice versa. Um, but there's some weird toxic energies going on here. Plus, if you speak your truth and you don't get dragged into the drama, if you're just like, you know what, I love you unconditionally, um, you know, that's not the truth. I'm going to tell you my truth, but it's, it's, it's up to you to make your choices and believe who you want to believe. It's going to frustrate the toxic ex because they're going to be like, damn, that didn't, that, that didn't tug on his heartstrings. That didn't, I couldn't play on his empathy through the kid. Damn. And the toxic ex is going to stop using the kid against you because they're going to realize it doesn't work. So, so please for your sake and for your kid's sake, you know, stay distant and do not let the ex, um, exploit you with the kid you know what I mean show the ex that that's not gonna work that you know guilt tripping you through the kid isn't gonna work and that way the ex is gonna you know maybe real the, the ex is gonna realize that exploiting the child doesn't work and then he or she is gonna focus on being a good parent because it's like you know the kids the kid is probably gonna be at a certain point too the kid's gonna be like dude this isn't working like okay I promised I would lie to daddy for you or I promised I would lie to mommy for you to get attention for you but you know, it's, it's not working. They're, they're not, you know, they're not buying it anymore. Um, and so for some, it's like the kid might themselves just be like, Hey, I don't want a part of this anymore. And then the ex, your ex-wife or ex-husband is going to probably respect that. They're going to realize that it's, you know, it's a lost cause. At least they're going to realize that that angle doesn't work. But that's the angle they're trying now is, is exploiting you through the children. So you really got to be strong. You got to not let that happen. Do not under any circumstances meet this person in any place physically ever. Please, I am not even playing. This person will get violent or they will scream at you or they have like a plan to beat you up. Um, and then on top of it, like I said, it's going to show them that, you know, using the child against she works. So they're going to actually end up hurting. The, it's it's going to hurt the child more in the long run because they're going to keep using the child against you. So, you know, just let them know that it's it's not going to work. They can't use the child against you. It's not happening. You know, um, protect yourself. You know, your kid needs you to be safe more than they need to go trick or treating or this or that. Your kid needs you to be safe and be happy and be okay and you have to trust that you know if you're in the right that they're going to see that as they get older that they're going to find that truth but there's nothing that you can do right now there it, it is what it is right now you know what I mean you have to just protect yourself and you have to just speak your truth but you have to stay distant and you have to let this person know through your actions that that yeah that you're that you're going to stay strong that you're not going to cave and you're not going to meet them physically under any circumstances um, so yeah, please be, be mindful of guilt trips. Be mindful if your kids are guilt tripping you that this energy might be coming from your ex. And as I, as I said, if you just stay strong and you speak your truth, but you don't get, let them pull on your heartstrings and you don't get dragged into the drama, then your ex is going to get frustrated and realize like, Hey, exploiting the kids not working anymore. Um, 
and the kid's going to eventually be like, okay, this isn't working. I don't want a part of this. And then, you know, it's going to open a door because then, you know, one, then they're just going to, you know, it's going to allow this, this mother or this father to just be forced to be a good mother or a good father and focus on the kid. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, you know, the, the kid's going to get to a point where it's like, Hey, like exploiting daddy doesn't work or exploiting mommy doesn't work. Or, you know, I try, I lied, did this guilt trip and it's not working. So, you know, what else can I do? And, and, you know, that's, that's when the, this, um, mother or father is just going to be forced to, to just focus on just themselves and the, and this kid. So, you know, please be strong, be mindful. And again, know that your kids are going to say the truth someday. Like, it's, it's gonna, I hate to say it, but it's probably gonna be something that they have to see on their own. They're probably, your kid might be going through karmic lessons of their own. Um, it might just be something that they're meant to go through. I hate to say it, but it might just be something. It, it's just, it's one of those situations where I just feel like there's not really much you can do other than just speak your truth and stay distant and protect yourself. You know, like, you know, just staying in your power. And that's, that's also going to give the kid a good impression of you because they're going to see like, okay, let's say that this toxic baby mom is saying, oh, your dad does this and this and this. Um, well, it's like, then, you know, the kid's going to see that you're not getting into the drama. You're not, you're not doing anything. The kid's going to start realizing it for their own as they get older. They're going to realize it on their own. But, um, but yeah, anyway, that's what I have for you guys. So please be careful. Please be safe. Protect yourself. Um, stay strong. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you want a private reading, email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.